There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. All right, Gem Knight first turn kill. So before I talk about the deck list, what does Gem Knight first turn kill mean? Gem Knight first turn kill means your deck has the ability to win on your first turn before your opponent even responds. There's two real big ways to play Gem Knights. There's the first turn kill version, and then there's the more well-rounded version that could deal with back row cards and monsters. But we are playing the first turn kill version, which means we're playing two Lapis, two Master Diamond, and one Lady Brilliant. So let me quickly walk you through a first turn kill. Even though we don't go first, it still displays the full first turn kill. All right, sets and passes. Grass sets greener, mill the top cards of our deck to equal the size of our opponents. Lazuli effect when sent to the graveyard is gonna add a normal from the grave to our hand. Now, just so you know, this hand right here is not needed for the first turn kill. That IO light being added to our hand is not even needed, and I'll quickly show you that after this duel. All right, you want to open up with Gemini Fusion, and you usually want to try to go for a Lapis summon first. This is Lapis. Lazuli Lapis sends a card from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, and then you deal 500 for each special summon monster on the field, including your opponent's monsters. How do you know when to go for this first over Lady Brilliant is you want to think, if I summon a Lapis Lazuli, am I able to summon a Lady Brilliant afterward? And based off our hand, we definitely could do that, so we're going to watch that right now. Obsidian effect when sent to the graveyard from the hand will special summon a normal from the grave. We're gonna add Gemini Fusion by banishing a Gem Knight. We're gonna activate Amber effect. We're going to Gemini summon him so he gains the effect of discard a card from our hand to add a banished Gem Knight to our hand. So we're gonna discard the Fusion because it's reusable to add Obsidian back to our hand. Now we're gonna activate Gemini Fusion, ban again, banish again, back to our hand. Activate again, this is where we summon Lady Brilliant, and we're also gonna trigger Obsidian Effect again. Now is when we wanna use Lapis Effect. Lapis, we're gonna send Lazuli, because when Lazuli's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a normal from the grave to your hand. That was 1,500 damage, three monsters, 500 per each. Now we wanna activate Brilliant Diamond to tribute off the Lapis. Should be for Master Diamond. Master Diamond, you could banish the Lapis to gain its effect. Now, Lapis and Lady Brilliant can only be special summoned on the field once per turn, but that restriction is not on Master Diamond. Now, instead of sending a monster from the deck to the grave, we're going to send our second Lapis Lazuli from our extra deck to the graveyard to deal another 1500 damage here. Now, this allows us to add the fusion back and then summon a second Master Diamond, banish the second Lapis Lazuli, and deal the final lethal amount of damage. Three monsters on the field. By the way, we have not attacked yet. We are not out of our battle phase. We are still able to use our battle phase if for some reason this wasn't lethal, but it's lethal without it. Boom, final 1500. That is what the FTK looks like. Now let's quickly rewind, because I promised you that we did not need Iolite in order to FTK. Now to quickly show you that we did not need the Iolite to do the OTK on our first turn. Miracle Fusion. Send, send, special. Obsidian Effect. Special. Gemini Summon. Banish, add, effect, discard, add, banish, add, Gemini Fusion, one, two, three, one, Obsidian Effect, special, Lapis Effect, send, 1500 damage, trigger its effect, add, banish, add, brilliant effect, tribute, special, effect, banish, effect, send Lapis from your extra deck to the graveyard. That's another 1500 damage. Fusion, 
One, two, three. To special summon. Again, activate its effect. Banish. So we've done 3,000 damage so far. With two monsters on the field, activate his effect of Lapis. Send him any monster from the deck to the graveyard. Boom, 15, 15, 1,000 with that hand. And the reason I was reusing these two fusions, because I don't have them in the extra deck in this playtester, so we're pretending like we have two, two, and one, as we normally do. Now, real quick, before I show you my build, let me show you two recent Gem Knight builds on the website so you can have different ideas on how to build this. So go to the top decks page, we're gonna click last four weeks, we're gonna type Gem Knight. I'm gonna click on these two decks, one from Hot Sauce and Wanking Off. Here's Hot Sauce's build with Last Gamble. Hot Sauce is using Magical Hats. Magical Hats is a great way to bring out the Gem Knight fusions from your deck onto the field, then they go to the graveyard, then you can add Gem Knight fusion from the grave back to your hand. Hot Sauce is also using Prismora, which is good for destroying face-up cards in the field. And also using Seraphonite. Seraphonite during your main phase, you could normal summon one additional monster. Now let's look at Wankinoff's build. Wankinoff is using Gemini Spark in combination with his Gemini monsters. He's also using Supervice, which works with the Gemini monsters. He's also using Unexpected Die to summon Lapis from the deck onto the field, and is also using Elephant's Gift to tribute a non-effect monster on the field to draw two. Now I do think there's an error with submitting this deck that the fifth monster missing would be a Master Diamond. Now on to our deck. The Gemini monsters were using is Obsidian when sent to the grave from the hand. Special summon a normal from the grave. Lazuli when sent to the graveyard. You could add a normal monster from the graveyard to the hand. Lapis is required to summon Lapis. And I'm using Iolite. Iolite, when you additional summon it as a Gemini monster, you could banish a Gem Knight from your graveyard to add a Gem Knight from your graveyard to your hand. Quickly for the fusions, Lapis sent a monster from the extra or deck to the graveyard. Deal 500 per special summon monster on the field. Master Diamond, banish Lapis from the grave to gain its effect. Lady Brilliant Diamond, tribute any face-up monster you control that's a gem knight to special summon any of the gem knights from the extra deck. Now it's important to note that Master Diamond cannot copy Lady Brilliant's effect by banishing it from the grave because you could only banish a level seven or lower. We are using this deck with the Wing Karibo engine. Wing Karibo plus Flute of the Summoning Karibo and the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone says if you have a Wing Karibo in the graveyard, you could search your deck for a gem knight fusion. It's super special. Extra effect is if you have all three in the grave, you could banish it to target a monster on the field. And again, Gains attack equal to the highest attack monster on the field. Flute of the Summoning Karibo will special summon your Wing Karibo on the field. When Wing Karibo is destroyed, you get to take no battle damage for the rest of the turn. The core card we're using is Grass that looks greener, and we are using them as Prismatic and Glossy through the skill Kaiba Court Bling. Even though it says 1800, right now it is 1000. If you take 1000 life point damage, you get to search your deck for Grass Looks Greener. Grass Looks Greener will mill your deck until your deck size is equal to your opponent's, which usually mills. Lazulis to gain their effect of adding a normal from the grave to the hand, dumping a Gemini in the graveyard, which is really good for special summoning, and most importantly, sending your Gem Knight Fusion to the graveyard, as Gem Knight Fusion can banish any Gem Knight card to add itself from the grave back to the hand, which could allow you to keep reusing it to keep summoning Gem Knight monsters. Our tech cards are Silent Doom and Swing of Memories, which allows us to special summon a normal monster from the graveyard. These cards are great for summoning our Iolite from the grave, and then you could Gemini summon it to get its extra effect. You usually want to use the Iolite effect to add a Lazuli or Obsidian from the grave to your hand. Now in the first turn kill demonstration, I was playing Amber, so I was initially trying out like this, take out, take out, take out, boom. So it looked like this. You could play either or, it does not matter. Enjoy the gameplay. Duel.
duel.